This is a quick video to show exactly how camera capture works when working with still images in Windows 8. If you're following along in the article, we've kind of taken screenshots of the steps, but I wanted to give a quick, concise video to kind of show how this all works. So I have a camera image here. When I click on this, it's going to launch the camera dialog. Uh, but first, it's going to ask me if I have permission. And you can see that uh, I have the choices of allow or block. Uh, I'm going to pretend that the user has hit block. Um, we only get one shot at that, and you'll see that I end up on a page here where it says that I can change this in my app settings. If I hit the back button and try this again, uh, you'll notice that I don't get prompted anymore. I'm only told that I have to go ahead and change the app settings. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my charms bar and hit settings and choose permissions and turn the webcam on. And what that then allows me to do is click on my camera and bring up, and now you can see me live on my computer. Um, showing exactly what's going on. So I have uh, my webcam, which is right here, uh, turned on and it's capturing live data. I have the ability to set options so I can come in here and choose my different resolutions. Uh, I can also set video stabilization on, which I don't like. Um, and then I also have the ability to set a timer and I'll use this for our quick example so you can see it because uh, it's hard to illustrate with screenshots, but I'll, I'll click timer. And now when I tell it that I wanted to select an image, uh, what I do is click anywhere on the screen. And so I'll do that. And it's going to count down three, two, one. And I have this really nice screenshot now that you can see of me with a thumbs up. So I also have the ability to crop. So I can come in and I can say I want it to be that size uh, or I want to scale it back to maybe just grab this. But we'll, uh, we'll leave it right there. That looks pretty good. Uh, maybe bring the top of it up a little bit. And we'll hit OK. And then what you'll see is I'm returning this to my code. Uh, and displaying it in an image control. And so now I have that image displayed in my application. I could play with it, I could do whatever I'd like. Uh, but ultimately, I have a very simple and easy way to do this. And hopefully, you've seen the code to make that happen. So there's a quick example. Thanks.